During this video, you'll learn about adding lettering and choosing your font style. There are different methods that can be used to add lettering to a design. The lettering icon is found in the digitized toolbox. Left click on the lettering icon and then click on the screen. A line is placed where the lettering will be added. Just start typing directly on the screen. If you wish to go to the next line, select Shift and then Enter and type in your next word. When you are finished typing the next line, press Enter to activate the letters. This method uses the default font, but a different font can be selected after the lettering is generated. Another method of entering text is to use the Lettering Object Properties dialog box. It can be accessed by right-clicking on the lettering icon in the digitized toolbox or simply pressing the letter A on your keyboard. In the white box, begin typing your text. Press Enter to go to the next line. And then you can press either OK or Apply to activate the lettering on the design screen. Apply will keep the dialog box open for further changes. An advantage of using this method for generating lettering is that you can pre-select the font, the size, the justification, and the baseline of the lettering. A preview of your type letters or words will appear with each font when you click on the drop-down arrow. To select the font, you can click on the drop-down arrow, and if you know the name of the style of font you wish to use, you can simply begin typing it in the font box. Press Enter to select that font, and then press Apply. And you can see that when I click on the screen, I have my lettering generated in the style of font I wanted. You may choose to see only embroidery fonts or only true type fonts when you click on the drop down arrow. The advantage of using an embroidery font is that these fonts have been digitized for embroidery on fabrics and are not just generated automatically. You can further restrict the viewing of true type fonts by selecting the type of font you wish to use. Merely place a dot in front of the style, click on the drop down arrow, and you will only see those selected true type fonts. Remember that all true type fonts are not suitable for embroidered lettering, and you should always do a test sew out.